Hi, I'm Jenny Sherbo, and today we're going to do an in some introduction to barrel racing and some finished barrel racers. We've got all different ages and um, different levels of competition. Some people are just beginning, some people are beginners riding finished horses, some people are more advanced people riding green horses. So we just kind of have a wide variety and we put up some cones around the barrels and we're going to talk about the points that we're going to ride to and, and the horsemanship aspect of rail racing. And then at the very end, we'll let them make a couple runs. So I hope you learned something today and enjoy yourself. Runs through. Okay, Wendy. So go ahead and jog a circle down there and come on up towards your pattern. Your, your cocoon that you're going to look at for your approach is right there. So you're going to go to the fence line, trot down, have your horse bent to the inside, look over your shoulder, looking for your point, which happens to be this cone, to have a nice straight approach to your barrel pattern. Don't let him go sideways underneath you. If he's, if he's trotting, you're going towards that fence and he's fading to the left, then you get your left leg on him and you don't let him fade underneath you. If you're trying to relax your hips and have him relax in the face, just relax. Look up where you're going. You're not looking up, paying attention to where you're coming. Go ahead and circle around again. Don't let him go from side to side. <coughs> and if you use your left leg, make sure you release your right leg. Now you're going to use a little right leg and make sure he's framed, that rib cage is up and his shoulder is up to come approach this cone. And then don't let him go side to side, come in a straight line. Good, now you're going to go towards your, your barrel right here. That first point on that triangle is your right. Then your turn cone and your pivot cone. Good. Look up on that fence at your marker. You're going to approach that triangle at the first cone is your rake cone. Sit in your hips. Drive your inside leg to get past your turn cone and then your pivot cone. Good. Nice straight line looking up on the fence at your rake cone. Inside leg, turn cone, pivot cone, outside rein. Okay, don't run over the cones and slow work. <laughs> okay, go right back to the fence and jog, go ahead and pick up the lope. Nice straight line. Keep in between your legs. Look to your barrel. Right cone, leg, turn cone, pivot cone. Good, you got your lead changed. Looking up on the fence where you want to ride. Right cone, turn cone, pivot cone. Look up. cone. Good. Go ahead and do it one more time. Thanks, Carrie. Good softening of his face. Go ahead. Good. That was a nice lead departure. You softened his face, lift his rib cage and his shoulder, and just let him go forward. Easy. Just soften. Don't snatch. Remember, every time you use a hand, you're going to use your leg as well. Your hand softens their face, your foot softens their body. Sit. You need, I would like to see you sit a little bit more on that right cone. Sit. Take a big deep breath. Then let him turn. Sit. Take a big deep breath. Good. I really saw your pelvis go down that time and he responded to you. That was good. Okay, go ahead and walk him. We'll make a run in a little while. Haley, your turn. Haley, you come to the left barrel, so I'm going to be your approach cone. So you'll approach your pattern coming right about at me until you're ready to go down to that barrel.
Go ahead and pick up your loaf. Give him a big kiss and send him off. Good, look up here. Good job, getting it together. That's good. He looks nice and relaxed. Sit in your pelvis. If I see air between your butt and that saddle, that means you're not sitting down. Okay, I would have liked... Okay, go ahead and stop. So, you made just a big old arc coming to that barrel, huh? You didn't come in a straight line and then sit for your rate and start that turn. You started you started going towards your barrel way too soon. So, let me, let me give you an example on my horse of what you did. And let me tell you why I stopped you and why it's such a big deal. Okay, so you came down here. And you did a really nice job before your approach of softening your horse. And you were looking over your shoulder at your pattern. I'm going to come in your footsteps. You came loping right up here. And you had a nice frame, but right about here you started falling off towards your barrel. And if that cone wasn't there, you probably would have fallen off even more towards your barrel. And then pretty soon you're going to fall off that line enough and you're going to hit your barrel. So, what I'd like to see you do is to make sure that you're not falling off too soon. Come up here and come a couple strides past that before you start to go to your barrel. Okay? Go ahead and try that. I just want to be careful that you're not falling off that line too soon. coming straight keep coming straight then sit and go to your barrel that was better I just thought you started a little bit wide though straight across look up at your fence there's your rate cone turn cone pivot cone good look up at your fence know where you're going rate cone turn cone pivot cone good okay go ahead and pick up your lead and, and go again don't start quite as wide. Your approach needs to tighten up a little bit. You were starting out over by uh, Mary instead of kind of at that post. You were just a little wide. Look up over here. Know where your approach is. Okay, so go ahead and stop. So you started, you turned at that, co at that post, but then he still faded. You need to get your, if he's fading to the, to the, you're running this way. You turn at that cone, but then he's fading out here to the right when you run into that barrel. And then that, because you get wider, it makes you want to fall in. So you need to get your right leg on your horse when you make that turn and make him stay up underneath you and come in a straight line, okay? I know I'm nitpicking at you, but it'll make all the difference for the longevity of making clean runs. Get your lead, sit on your butt. Take a big deep breath and sit down in your pelvis. Don't stand up in your stirrups. There you go, much better. Good. Sit down in your pelvis, turn, pivot, good. Look up where you're going. Rate cone, sit down, turn cone, pivot cone. Good. Look up on the fence where you're going. Rate cone, turn cone, pivot cone. Good. Very nice. Okay, you're done until we're ready to make a run. That was good. Did you feel the difference of that straight line right there? How he was bowing out on you and then that was making you dive in here? Yeah. We got to feel our horses underneath them and if their rib cage is leaving, we got to be able to catch it.